how you all doing? Welcome to this Affinity Photo um, tutorial. I think this might be my first Affinity Affinity Photo tutorial, actually. Um, yeah, I think it is. Anyway, um, because it is, I'll um, I'll keep it simple. I'll um, I'll keep it really really simple. So this is Affinity Photo for iOS. If you haven't used it before, um, I'm using a iPad Pro 10.5 um, with the pencil as well. So um, and and it works really nice. It's sort of a, a layered layered system um, photo editing tool and, and it's um, it's powerful it's good so yeah you should try it firm if you want me to I'm quite quite aware that I haven't done a full rundown I normally do a rundown of apps of, of how to use them a full walkthrough if you like quite aware that I haven't done that but if you want me to do that just give me a shout I can do that and um, so this one I'm just gonna keep it really simple is a picture of my dogs that I took myself um, what I'm gonna do is add a nice um, layered gradient over the top just to give it a different effect um, and there's a there's a, a color blending mode that's sort of um, unique to to Affinity Photo that we're going to add to it. So, in order to um, to add the gradient, I'm just going to select my layers pane, top right hand side, it's not the very top. It's the it's the next one down. This one here, and then I'm going to click the little plus button, go to a new fill layer, and just make sure that um, my fill layer is above my background layer. It should be because that's where we put it. Then on this left hand side here, we've got a gradient tool. What I'm going to do is swipe from left to right with the pencil and it just creates this gradient. And this little piece in the middle here is just, um, you see the, 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 where the gradient um, sort of fades into the other part of the other color. So if you wanted to add color stops, um, you just tap on the screen like so. Quite simple because, um, I'm using the keyboard and just going to press Command and Z just to um, just to undo that. Now, you notice if I select one of the stops, left or right, it just becomes slightly bigger than the other. So um, I'm going to select this one on the right hand side, and I'm going to change the color of it by going to my color wheel. Now you can do this in in many ways. You just tap the color wheel, and you get this little pop up, and you can use lab sliders and things that you just sort of normally familiar with, um, RGB sliders, all that sort of good stuff. But I just prefer to use the color wheel. Once you've selected the color wheel, just um, press color wheel again and it will deselect that. So now to choose a different color, I'm just going to rotate this color wheel. I want this blue. And if I want to change the depth of the blue, I just rotate in the center here and, and just choose the color that I want. So this this is what I, I meant by the um, by where the gradient sort of meets each other. So this is, um, I'm quite happy with this. So I'm going to select my, um, just press my color wheel again and it deselects that. So I'm going to open up my layers, make sure I've got my fill. I've got it unnamed at the moment, but my fill layer selected. And there's a little dot with this three little, um, little circle with these three little dots. I'll show you again, just right here. Um, and then where it says normal, I'm just going to, this is the blend mode. So I'm just going to change that blend mode. There's lots of things that you can go through. Um, I don't know, you could go to, um, sort of um, the color dodge and that's quite nice in itself let me just show you that so that's quite nice in itself just the color dodge um but um what else is quite nice as well i suppose if you go to color burn it's quite nice you turn the opacity down a little bit it's quite a, quite a nice effect but i quite like this um, negate this negate effect it's it's um like i said it's unique to affinity and um um, not too much, but um, you can change the opacity on it if you like to get this just a real subtle effect. But I like to turn the opacity up quite a little bit, and then just look at the look at the image as it is, like so. I think it's a really nice looking image. Um, really, um, really sort of sets the photo off. And then if you go back to your layers layers pane, you can sort of turn it on and off to have a look at what it um, looks like. But I suppose we could do the same. Um, with other tools as well. So yeah, that's what it started off with. That's what it looks like now. And obviously you just save that out to save a photo out. You just go to these um, little, um, sorry, this, um, this this square right here, and then you can export a copy or save a copy. Um, really, really simple, but, um, but yeah, really nice effect and really easy to use as well. So, oh, sorry, really easy to apply as well. So I hope you um, enjoyed this um, tutorial. And like I said, if you want that rundown of full walkthrough, give me a shout.